Devin on uh, Chris and Amani <laughs> keeps saying that you and Kevin are, or Chris are driving you too crazy because he's not shooting enough. Um, at, least, at least he took some in the first half to make what you think of, of him taking shots when that's what you guys are urging him to do. Yeah, we want him as, as aggressive as possible. Um, and he understands that. I think it's just something that he's not completely used to. Um, people helping off him at some times and him getting overlooked. I think he's always been in the position where he had to make plays for everybody on the court. So, you know, it's going to take a little adjusting, but, you know, it's always, you know, always in a good spot if you're looking for a Hall of Famer to be more aggressive. Curious with you with that second unit to end the first quarter and the third quarter, how are you liking that feel? Because it seems like the group constantly <laughs> is changing for you throughout the year. Yeah, just figuring it out. Um, and that's my job as one of the leaders of the team to, you know, make sure the new guys are on the same page. And, you know, even the second unit that we, you know, we keep the team afloat or push the lead. You know, that's always been a goal for, you know, the next group in. So, you know, we've had good spots and we've had bad spots. But, you know, we have we have something to learn from. Coach mentioned you wanted to give him credit uh, for how he did today. Uh, how can you speak to his adjustments throughout the season to all the different roles he's had? Yeah, it's tough to do. Um, better than me, uh, you know. I kind of like things set how they are, and you know that hasn't been the situation for him. Um, but tonight he was all over the place, um, double double, right? Probably a lot of rebounds. He had ten rebounds, fifteen points. Um, you're just making the game easier too. You know, he's reading that. They might throw a weaker defender on him. He's setting those early screens for KD and, and, and CP to, to get the mismatch and, you know, taking advantage of people on the offensive glass. Kevin, I know it's always important to get a good start in every game, but with a team like San Antonio that's, you know, been struggling and undermanned, is it even more important to get a good start like that just to, you know? Yeah, I mean, you see what happened in the third quarter. Um, they came out ready to play and, you know, Thank goodness we had built a lead from the first half or else, you know, it would be a tie ball game or, or we'd be down. So, you know, it was real important for us to come out and, you know, find that flow, push the pace, um, defend at a high level, and that's what we did. Look, I apologize if this has been asked, but with the last two seasons in mind, how do you use the time like this when it seems like the playoff fade is pretty much sealed? It seems like you guys are locked in at the four seed and just these 10 days, what do you, what do you use? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, Really have to see it play out. You know, I know a lot of teams. I know Lakers Clippers play tomorrow. I know that's a big one. Um, what Pelicans lost tonight? I don't know if that ruins their. See, I don't. I don't know. It's too hard to keep up with. Um, you know, we're focused on what we have in here, and you know, we'll move forward. You know, after next game, or you know, see what happens. But, but for you individually, like with the team in these ten days, yeah. what do you what do you focus on the most? Uh, just staying sharp. You know, the most important basketball of the year is here um, and realizing that. So, you know, I know we in the past watched the play in games together. Um, and just once we realize who our matchup is, just dive into that and, you know, move forward from there. Looking forward to having an extra couple of days to scout now instead of that finding yeah. out the last second. Yeah. And, you know, a little time off, get everybody's bodies right. Um, you know, it's a, it's a great time of year. You said, just to pick it back, you were talking about staying sharp. Last year, you guys had it clinched so early. You didn't really you didn't play those last mm -hmm. four, maybe five games. Is this, you'd rather have, obviously, the, 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 you know, the best record in the league, but do you feel like the way these games and the importance of them is keeping you at that sharp, keeping that sharpness there? Yeah, and we have new players. We have right. Kevin out there, too, TJ in the lineup, and, you know, we're kind of behind a bit if you're talking – experience-wise together, um, but a plus in the talent level, I'd say. So, you know, just figuring that out. Even tonight's game, even when we were up 30, I'm sure we would have played most of the game, regardless how much we were up, just to, you know, find that flow and find that rhythm. How have you liked the offensive flow? I know down the stretch of that Thunder game, you guys found KD in the corner twice, and then that opened up yeah. DA the next play. How have you yeah. liked being able to kind of make them pick your poison? 
I mean, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful thing, you know, when the game's played the right way and, you know, we have everybody on the same page and when it's hitting on all cylinders like that, especially in, you know, a clutch part of the game, it, it's really important. You know, we understand that, you know, a lot of the games or some of the games are going to come down to those one or two possessions um, in the playoffs and, you know, that counts. Thank you, bro. Yeah, appreciate it.